Okay, so then we're going to move on to um, the misuse of those strengths. So, and this is just, again, most likely you pair up. So if you found that you had more I or more S or more D, then most likely what you're going to find is you choose right now um, which particular misuse of the strengths are more common for you. You're going to find that um, you probably line up and pair with... Um, with the strengths. So the dominants, they do tend to be a little more impatient, stubborn, controlling, and sensitive. Um, influencers tend to influence, tends to get too involved sometimes, can be impatient with things that require sustained effort uh, or shorter attention spans, can all, sometimes appear inauthentic or be overly talkative. Um, steadiness or can be conflict avoidant, they internalize, they tend to withdraw, they feel overwhelmed easily. People who are, um, have compliance strengths can sometimes become off as self-reliant, skeptical, have the paralysis of analysis, really slow to make a decision, um, and be very critical not only of themselves but sometimes of others. So take a minute and just I, this, these two slides are really about you getting a second to think about, okay, where do I fall in these categories? What strengths do I have that I do apply when I'm out selling in the field, and what perhaps misuse of those strengths are causing me at times to miss sales. You know, like I think, for example, if you are an S like me, you might have a hard time being bold enough in the home. It might be hard to really ask for the sale. You might feel like, because you might feel like you're creating conflict with the client and that makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, if you're an I, you might find that you could be, um, maybe you're talking, just simply talking too much and not listening well enough, not allowing the client to talk. You know, you might, that may have cost you some sales. Um, D's, maybe you're moving too fast for people. You know, and C's, maybe you're, um, I think a C sometimes is too focused on perfectionism and um, maybe you're not stopping to connect with the client and pay attention to what the client needs because you're too focused on making sure everything is in line from your perspective. It's kind of that concept of um, not really listening to what the client is saying to respond to the client, but you're so busy internally figuring out what you're gonna do and say next because you're so focused on making sure everything runs perfectly in an appointment. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's looking at it from yourself. That was just taking a few minutes to think about, okay, what are my strengths? How has that helped me be effective in the field? How could that possibly be holding me back in the field when I misuse those strengths? That I could mature that strength to become more effective. Um, another, now that we've looked at ourselves and we go, okay, I have a better clarity of myself, it does make it easier now to look at that from the perspective of, okay, well, what are my clients' personality types and how do I communicate more effectively with them based upon their personality type? So, okay. How can you identify these personalities on a sales call? So here are some behaviors that you might find in your clients that might help you identify. So, and this is compliance and steadiness is right here. So this is, and the, you'll often see that C's and S's kind of get paired together and D's and I's get paired together. Um, actually, well, let's see. Let's see if I can remember this. Ooh, I'm going off my, so the D, nah, I'm not going to go into all that. I'm going to complicate it. Let's just stick with this. Okay, C's and S's are together here. So C's and S's um, tend to be, um, ask a lot of questions, they speak softly, they move slowly, they don't make a lot of direct eye contact, maybe, they're slower to do eye contact, they tend to lean back in their chair, they're more laid back, they don't use as many hand gestures, they're more patient, they're more cooperative, and they're more calm. Now what I like about this slide is not only, first of all, is it helping you I maybe quickly identify, okay, my client leans in this direction, 
So this probably is already giving me, like I already know probably what some objections might come up. We're going to talk about that in a minute based upon their personality type. But the other thing I like about it is it's reminding you of a sales technique that Fitz has taught us over and over again, which is called mirroring and matching. So this is another important technique that if you've got someone that's leaning back, laid back, moving slower, calmer, then you definitely need to be aware that you are mirroring some of those same behaviors. And we're going to talk about why in a minute. And we're going to talk about why it is that they display those behaviors. So then let's just take a minute then and look at dominance and influence. So these are people who will tell you things. They'll speak loudly, fast movements, direct eye contact, lean towards you, animated hand gestures. They'll tend to be more impatient, competitive, excitable, enthusiastic, and outwardly positive. I would also venture to say that most likely if you are getting like cursed out or really aggressive, like someone's coming in aggressive the minute you get on the phone with them, probably a DNI, one of the two. Your C's and S's are probably more your people who are, again, they're immediately on the phone. They're just, they feel a little unsafe. So they're slower to speak and respond to you. And they don't always know exactly what they want to say. They might hang up on you still, but they just say nothing and go click and hang up. Your D's and your I's probably add a few words in there before they hang up on you. But obviously, if you get an appointment and you feel them moving you along, you feel them talking to you, okay, okay, let's get to it. They're leaning in. They're super enthusiastic. They're gregarious. You're dealing more with the DNI. So hopefully already you're quickly identifying clients that you sat with this week. So let's just talk about how we are more effective than closing in the home.